back to another video, and so I'll be sharing my thoughts today on the new 2019 Lion King. But just before we quickly get into it, just like to quickly say I will be spoiling most of the film. So if you guys want to click off now, now would be probably a really good time. So with the start of the film, I really liked how it started, like the original, with Simba's ceremony and the sun rising up with all the animals going to Pride Rock. I thought that was a really great scene. And then I like how most of the songs were in here. I was hoping they wouldn't make a completely new song, but I think it worked really well because Beyonce played Nala, and while Simba was running back to Pride Rock to claim his land, I liked her new song, Spirit. I thought that worked quite well. It wasn't in the original, but I think it worked quite well in this. And then I liked how the original Mufasa was voiced in this one, also in the cartoon one. I did not know that till today, so that was quite interesting. And then I liked how the story went. It was basically almost watching uh, the cartoon version, but in just real life. But some of the scenes weren't quite right. So I really like, because in the original there was this small little critter running around and Scar catches him. But in this one, he almost goes like some sort of small little journey and then he gets captured. So I, I liked how they put that into perspective. And then I liked the ceremony, that was really interesting. And then I liked how Timon and... Pumba were introduced, I thought it was much more better than the original. So, all the character development was really great. I thought they looked really good and, and better than the original. But my, my two problems were that I didn't really like how there was like a queen hyena. I just liked how there were three of them. I do not remember their names in the cartoon version. I kind of didn't like how there was a queen one of the hyenas. And also, I didn't like how in the original, there was this scene where... Simba ran away and like one of the hyenas fell into this thorn bush and I thought that was a really funny scene. I kind of wish they created it in this film. It would have been really cool to see that scene again. So yeah, throughout the movie you see Simba and Nala like get connected on all that. So I thought that was really cool to see. Some really great scenes in here. And I really liked the final battle. I think it was much more better than the original. Really interesting battle. And then there were a couple of sad parts in there. Especially Mufasa's death. That was much more sadder than the original. But I think I think it worked really nicely and well. So now we'll move on to some Lego set I ideas. Thinking some set ideas. So let's get straight into this. The first one would be Pride Rock Simba Ceremony. And I thought they could easily create just a small chunk of Pride Rock. Add a couple of animals. Maybe a giraffe. Who knows. And to create the female lines they could use this cool mold here from lego city jungle explorers and they could also use this to make mufasa they could just put a cool mane on here add a couple of cool fur details and recolor it the next one would be the elephant graveyard with younger versions of nala and simba they could be some new molds maybe or just make it a smaller version of this for the hyenas they could Almost reuse this, but just remold it in a few places. The next one would be the introduction of Timon and Pumbaa. This would be probably the smallest set. They would need some new molds for Timon and Pumbaa. Mostly Pumbaa, because I thought of an idea they could use the parrot piece here for a stud connection to pretty much any plate. And just remold it as like that. And then the next one would be Mufasa's death. So they could easily just make a brick built version of a buffalo like this one here of a moose they could create a small piece of chunk of cliff and then just do the same mold they did for Simba's ceremony and then the final one the final battle this will probably the biggest one probably yeah so they would use this mold here for Simba as well but with some fur detail and a mane and also recolored and then they would probably also use the same idea for Scar and just add a couple of hyenas and maybe Timon and Pumbaa who knows so if you guys enjoyed this and I can't say so goodbye